and decided I was going to make a fabric doll. Just out of nowhere. I've been wanting to make one for a little while and I just never got around to it. And I was like, I don't have the fabric. I don't know how to put it all together. And it was just excuses. So today I decided to do it. And here she is. All finished. And I did document the process. So hence the video. Uh, so if y'all want to stay tuned to see how I made this little creature. Uh, it would be great. It's mostly just like my thought process and a little bit of like sculpting the clay. It wasn't too terribly hard. There wasn't too much to it. It's just very time consuming. It took me a majority of the day. So, but y'all yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll include a little clip for on the back camera. Uh, let me know if y'all want to see more maybe. Um, colors. Y'all might want to see kinds of fabrics or different eyes and stuff like that. I welcome all the comments. <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's get to the back camera, get an actual clip, and then on to the rest of the video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Here it is on the back camera. Close up the eyes and hand paint those. I think she turned out pretty cute for my very first time trying it out. Like, I've never done this before, so. And I did sketch it out. She did turn out a little bit different, but, you know, that kind of happens as you're going along. A little template there, but let's get on with the rest of the video. Alright guys, so for this video we're going on a little journey. I decided I wanted to make like a little uh, original kind of moth doll. And it, it's actually going to be the size. I want to be able to like fit it in your hand and you can hold it. And it's just cute and adorable. So I sketched out this one. I've never done this before, so I wanted it to be fairly simple and not like overly complicated because again never done it before I don't know what I'm doing but we're gonna go from there so uh, the face the little legs I guess and the wings are gonna be made of clay and I've got some clay out here I think I'm gonna be going with like the pearl pink and the translucent I'm gonna mix them together so it gives it kind of a I, I kind of like this kind of look but it, ignore those, I'm working on those too, but how cute, cute those are. Anyway, uh, maybe some orange, I don't know. Technically, I could go with purple since color theory, that would be complementary for each other because this is going to be the fabric. Look how cute that is. Some, some cute little fabric. I didn't want it to be like too floofy or anything because, again, I don't know what I'm doing. But this is on sale, so I grabbed like a yard of this. So it's going to be like yellow and then maybe like the pink details and stuff. So, I don't know, just come on this journey with me, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> get it freaking symmetrical it's not easy like I understand why they charge so much for these <laughs> my goodness all right now we got the face made all I did was roll out like a ball of clay and then like smoosh it down a little bit with my roller uh, and then just kind of shape it with my finger is it perfectly symmetrical no but again this is my first one so we're, we're gonna go with it and I've got a little blush going on 
I used the uh, flamingo pink for that. And I'm doing the little fluffy antenna thingies now. I don't know what you call them on moss. But I wanted to do like an ombre kind of thing. I, I was like, that's gonna be cute. So let's get to that. All right, here's the little antenna so far. I thought I'd show y'all. Did the ombre and then kind of pinched the ends. Draw a line down the middle. I just like to use that and then I go in and should just do that all the way down. that line. Then I'm going to gently try to put it in the head I right there. I did adjust a little bit. Uh, I, I thought that looked a little bit cuter than, than that. I might try a different one, making smaller ones that stick up, but got the holes kind of punched out so I can sew on the face. I don't know how you're actually supposed to put the face on, but this is how I'm going to try it for my first time. So face is done. And I gotta hand paint the eyes once it's baked, but now I'm gonna start on the little leggy doos. And then, I don't know what color I'm gonna do the wings yet, but yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. Like a great angle, and this video probably isn't gonna be that great, but I'm doing the best I can on my phone, so uh, all I did was make little teardrop shapes, if you can see right here. And I am trying to put little holes in it I want to focus. Just kind of simply just like very soft, soft kind of touch to it. It doesn't want to focus. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Make sure there's like that nice hole right there that's stuck. Just kind of press it back down. Then I'm just trying to do that to all of them so I can sew it on, like right here. Y'all can see that. I'm hoping it's gonna be super cute, but again, I don't know. Never done this, so I'm gonna continue. I gotta do all the legs. And then I will try to move on to the wings. I don't know if I'm going to design the wings yet. Maybe something similar to like a lunar moth. Except like pink and orangey kind of colors. But I don't know. We'll just have to see. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll miss you baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
275, which is what I like to bake my clay at. That's ready to go. So let's put it in for like mm, 17, 18 minutes because they are a little bit thicker. And I want to make sure they're good and hardened. So the clay parts are out and like cooling off still a little bit. But it's looking pretty nice. But I needed to take a break and eat some lunch because like 3.19 in the afternoon right now. But I did get this done too, or partially done. So I think it's turning out pretty cute so far. All the little pieces glazed and ready to go. Holes in there. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. The eyes took the longest to do. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. And I, I was like, oh, she would look adorable with freckles. So it's a little bit different than what I sketched out. But I think it's going to be pretty cute. I love this fabric. So I guess let's just put it together and then we will, we'll see. So far, so good. Maybe I should have used like pink. Hold on, listening to YouTube. Um, but I thought the yellow was pretty cute with it. So just a little update. The wings are gonna be a little bit more difficult because I gotta work around the other clay, but that's it so far. All right, she's almost done. We got one more rain to go. Um, in the future, I might design the wings a little bit differently so I can sew it on a different way, but for this one, for my first go, it's not bad. It's going to flop around a little bit, but it's meant to be, you know, like a hold in your hand, kind of cute little doll, so I'm not that worried about it. Alright, and she is all done. And I decided to use some extra cottony stuff for like a cute little bed. I'd like to make like a little extra bed or something, or like a blanket to swaddle her in. But for right now, she's done. Pretty proud of it. I thought I was going to mess it up, but I got everything sewed on. It looks okay. It's a little floppy. Again, I'm going to have to design those differently next time, but for a first go, it's not bad. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you all think in the comments. Close up the eyes. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.